Hello, and welcome to a new video, new positioning. I've changed it slightly, so yeah. Um, on today's video, we're just gonna really have a rant, you know, a little um, voice my opinion really on something what many gamers might um, might understand. You know, this is the first in the series. You know, I might make more if um, that's something that people like and enjoy. You know, I'm not really good at explaining things, so it's a bit new to me. But something that comes to mind really that um, gamers can relate to. Um, so basically, in the media, when they say stuff like, oh, um, this person's uh, who's killed loads of people, or done this crime, or done that, uh, it's because, oh, he plays this game, and he plays that game, you know, for instance, um, like GTA, you know, is a violent game, in theory, it's not, but, you know, wow, well, it is, GTA is a violent game, and, um, they basically blame video games for people doing what they did or being a violent person. Basically, um, giving them an uh, excuse. Oh yes, yeah, because um, he plays video games. It's because he played this game. Oh, that's why he done it. You know, we should ban video games. We should ban this game. We should ban that game. I disagree. You know. So why I disagree in this? If you're a bad person, in a way. Your bad person it doesn't matter if you play a computer game or you play this and you play that. You know, if you're going to commit a crime or if you're going to kill someone, you know, it's already in your head, basically, that you're going to kill someone. You know, you're going to basically have these thoughts that you want to go stab someone or do whatever you want to do to them. You know, and yeah, that's it basically. They can't just. There's no excuse saying, oh yeah, it's because he played GTA or is because. He played, you know, back in the day in Manhunt, there was a scenario where some kid, um, I think he killed a few people, and he did similar things on, like, a, a game called Manhunt, if you remember, back in the day on PS2. Um, the article said, or said something like in court, that, yeah, he played the game Manhunt, it should be banned. And that's why, if he didn't play Manhunt or Violent Games, he probably wouldn't have done this crime or something, you know? Like I said, I disagree. If he's really got it in his head that, he wants to commit the crime, he wants to kill that person, he wants to, doesn't matter what game you play, you know, basically what I'm trying to get at is, they need to stop blaming computer games, that if you're going to commit a crime, you're going to commit a crime no matter what, you know, it's in your head, you know, you have to do bad thoughts, if you're me mentally unstable, you shouldn't be playing these games, and that's down to obviously the parents, or yourself really, you should say, no, I shouldn't play this game because, you know, I'm not in the right frame of mind, you know, what's going on in my head, so let's not play this game, you know, 18 ratings. But when parents, like, let them kids play GTA or any age rating, I'll give them GTA example, because it's the only game I can think of, oh yeah, Saints Row is right in front of me. You know, games where you go kill people, shoot people, you know, cause harm, not like a normal traditional, like Minecraft or, um, what else have we got, you know, driving game, stuff like that. You know, the next thing is they're going to say, oh yeah, or he joyrided and he uh, wanted to drive really fast and the reason was because he played Need for Speed, you know? You don't play Minecraft and the next thing is someone down the road is building a mine, you know? Because he wants to be a miner, because he's played Minecraft. Where I'm going to in this video, and like I said I'm not really good at explaining this, we need to stop blaming computer games, but it is the media and like the government, whatever you want to call it, you know? We're not going to go into government conspiracies and that because we're about gaming and gaming channels and collecting stuff but we need to like just say enough is enough stop blaming computer games if you're going to commit crime if you're going to be a violent person it doesn't matter if you played that game an hour ago and then you went to commit the crime you know it's all in their head whatever goes on in this thing here is whatever they're going to do you know like I said they don't play all these games like Roller Coaster Tycoon and oh yeah I want to build roller coasters now actually that could be a thing you know but basically, you know, let's just call it now. Stop blaming computer games. It's not their fault. Stop banning games. You know, because they did at one point. I think I read in the media that because that that kid um, acted out all the stuff on Manhunt. Apparently, they banned Manhunt. I think they banned it. But um, you can still get it. It wasn't really. It was alright game in the time. It was a bit like messed up. But yes, so. 
this is the first video of the little rant series. I'll try and be better. And like I said, I'm not very good at explaining, but we'll get better in time. You know, give me some scenarios or some videos or some video ideas of what we can talk about. But yeah, so if you agree in this video that it's not video games fault that someone's committed a burglary, you know, I'm not going to say that word, the RA word to women, you know, or killed someone or strangled them or anything like that, you know, it's not video games fault, you know, obviously if you want to play GTA, everyone wants to go around and uh, get in a car and then hit that bloody uh, vehicle transporter, you know, with a ramp and then you get vehicles here and vehicles there. You know, because when I'm at work and I see them, I always think, yep, GTA, vroom, straight over. You know, we all want to do that. But, um, yeah, it's not, you know, I've got GTA here. GTA 3, for instance. You know, basically, these are age ratings, mum and dad, if you can see, and kids. If you're not 18, you should be playing this game. You know, and if your parents say you can, well, that's down to them. But, you know, as a parent myself, I wouldn't let my kids play that until they're at least 17, you know. 18, obviously, but that's that was the parenting. You can parent your kids how you want. Go away, fly. I'm busy recording the video. You know, he's not on, but yeah, so it's gonna be an interesting video to edit. I've got to edit loads of stuff. What doesn't make sense, but yeah, you know, it's good to talk about things and that. But that was just a thing on my mind. I think about it the other day, you know, when they just blame video games for problems and in the world you know it's easy to blame something else than the real problem with that person what's just committed that crime it's not their fault it's what's going on in their head it's not computer games fault as we keep saying so yeah so hopefully you enjoyed that little rant video um hopefully it made sense what i'm going on about you you know you understand the gist not everyone's good at explaining things i'm not but yeah so we've got unite of gamers that don't blame computer games, yeah? It's not their fault. It's your fault. It's your parenting. Because parenting can cause kids to be naughty, which we all know if you've got kids. You know, you've got to lead your kids in the right path in life. You know, but obviously sometimes kids just wander off and sometimes they can't be helped, but you've got to try and help your kids. Yeah? But the message is today is don't blame computer games. Parents. Don't let your kids play underage games if they're not old enough. You know, use your brain. Because I wouldn't usually let my kids play GTA and stuff. So, and Manhunt and all that. Oh yeah, Call of Duty, for instance. We thought about Call of Duty. We won't go on about that because it's near the end of the video. But yeah, you know, any shooting games, any violent games. Just play some nice games. Like Minecraft. You know, kids these days are playing Fortnite. And that's a bit like, I know it's cartoony, it's still violent. But... You know, they play Fortnite, so not my cup of tea. But yeah, leave a like, a comment, and let me know what you think in this video. And uh, it could be interesting, a little topic we can do in the future, some more videos. So yeah, adios, and I'll see you in the new next video, wherever that'll be, showing more stuff in my game collection. So let me know in the comments if you like um, this backdrop, and if you know if things all right, you can hear me stuff because my camera's there. You know, because we usually stand over there next to the fridge and you can see the Hot Wheel cars. But yeah, let me know. Leave some comments. I'll see you in the next video. Fantastic. Goodbye. I'm just going to walk off and it looks like a cool little transition. See ya.